when you will open a kit, let's just get these bunny ears. Put your hair back, put bunny ears, they will create a special mood and it will be much more fun to use all these products. Now it's very comfortable on my hair. Bunny ears is on, so that's how we put them. Every time when I wear my bunny ears, I feel happier and I definitely want to take care of my skin. I feel so much ready. So let's get started. Let's start from the basic. Let's uh, take our cleanser and toner. They might be different, depend on the kit, but cleanser is always very concentrated. So you need just a little bit on your hand and then wash your face with cleanser. So this is my wet towel and I will put a little bit of cleanser on my towel as well. I already have some cleanser on my face, but I will put just a little bit on a towel. And because towel has a texture, this texture will just help to clean your skin deeper. And now I just will put my hand inside and just will clean my face. When you cleanse your skin with a towel, go all the time up, kind of like deep massaging your skin. At the same time, you will perform lymphodrainage massage for yourself and it will help to all ingredients to penetrate better deeper and faster and then when you using a toner toner has a lot of all natural ingredients they might be a little separated in a bottle so i would highly recommend to mix your toner for around 20 30 seconds as uh, all ingredients in a toner they are all natural and they have tendency to separate so when we're mixing it up toner will work the best for your skin one more thing if your toner going to end sooner than 21 day please watch my video about toners and about how to create your own toner in your kitchen DIY why so you will never end up without toner now i'm going to shake my toner and apply it on this cut and round some people trying to spray toner on their skin and then wipe it's not correct now i just will same movements if you go on your forehead you go down and then if you going on your face you go up my skin already feels refreshed after the cleanser and massage with a towel and now the toner smells amazing so what toner does it will pre-open your pores and then acids of the toner will penetrate deeper into your pores, it will balance your pH and it will dissolve some products or under skin oil that prevent penetration of active ingredients. Because toner has some acids and this acid will stay in your pores, your next product will penetrate faster and better. And then when I done wipe my face, I will wipe my ears behind my ears behind and then I will wipe also inside of my ears super clean hand fresh <laughs> so next step will be juicy kiwi scrub again doesn't matter if you're doing acne kit or anti-aging kit scrub will be our next step it has little bits from jojoba oil seeds it has also AHA acids it has kiwi it has so much active ingredients and we do need to give to our skin good exfoliation before we will do a self extraction so when you will open this jar you'll see that much of scrub this is enough for four applications okay so you will also find in this magic bag a little spatula please don't use your fingers to prevent cross contamination and all you need that's that's how much scrub you need and that's how much left this is actually a lot this is a lot so what i will do i will put this scrub on this my two fingers and then i will spread and then i will just apply on different areas of my face now if your skin is very very sensitive try not to have scrub on your skin more than one minute because it has alpha hydroxy acids and your skin can turn a little bit pinkish it's okay if it happened but we don't want to leave it too long on your skin but if your skin is not very sensitive it's like normal or oily or even dry but not sensitive concentrate on each zone for example this is one zone this is second zone this is third zone this is zone number four and this is zone number five just feel these beads under your fingers and just try to massage your, your skin using these beads and providing like exfoliation if you feel that your skin start to get like a little burn or tingling it's absolutely normal but just please don't press too hard and don't do too long everyone is different there is no two identical skin so i know my skin can tolerate a lot so i can massage for a long time but just remember that after the scrub we're going to do pumpkin peel we're going to do extractions and another peel so you don't need too much of the scrub we still have steps to go but i definitely want to concentrate kind of like a little bit more on my nose our nose always have a little bit enlarged pores and every time when we have sunlight and sun radiation it touches our nose first so there is more dead cells than the rest of our face okay and then from the nose i go like that this area are the most sensitive areas on our face so don't press too hard and don't do too long here give special attention to your chin because skin here is very different than skin on the rest of our face maybe filled with a little bit of under skin oil so please massage these areas really good and then go up 
on your cheeks and then give some attention to these areas. If you can do scrub and give yourself a lifting motion, massage. See, I will put a little bit of water on my hand and then we'll do this. Perfect. Okay. And then underneath the eyes, I know that some people never exfoliate around the eyes and some people never put moisturizer on top. So your skin wants to eat, your skin needs food. Same in this place and same also in this place. Actually, in this place, it needs the most hydration because the skin is so tiny and all the time moving it. So elasticity slowly, you know, need, need vitamins, needs hydration, need ingredients that will make the skin tighter and brighter. So please feed your eyes with a great all natural food. And our kids have special eye cream with a lot of caffeine and a lot of beautify and other active ingredients that will completely transform the look of your eyes. But we will get back to eyes a little bit later. Right now, I just want you to exfoliate your neck. And now let's remove our scrub with our towel. Now this is my clean wet towel. And again, I go in this woman's make sure that when you did a cleanse with the towel maybe we need to wash it and do it again until you don't feel any bits on your face you know you still continue to remove it with the towel only when you feel your skin and it's smooth no bits then be ready for the next step and our next step will be a pumpkin peel in your kit it looks like that a pumpkin peel one thing I want to say, if your skin is extremely sensitive and already after the scrub you got some pink marks here and your skin feels like it's a little burning, please skip this part because there is one more peel that we need to do in the end after our extractions and I would prefer you to do a peel and again, depend of your skin, it would be either a custom peel, which is stronger than pumpkin, or if your skin is sensitive, I would recommend you to do a pumpkin peel or your skin has Fitzpatrick 5 or 6. But we will get into it. I have like whole video explaining when to do this peel or that peel, how you need to look at your skin and how you need to analyze your skin for that. But for now, if your skin is not very sensitive, if after the scrub, your skin doesn't feel like it's burning or it's not like super red and you feel like you can have another form of exfoliation then let's go ahead and do a pumpkin peel it's super easy so i have this spatula i still have my cotton with a toner so i just will wipe my spatula just make it clean and then when you will open a pumpkin peel it smells like a pumpkin pie on a thanksgiving it also has beautiful texture like look at that it looks like a caramel and it's kind of like a facial in a jar everything what your skin needs there is so much active ingredients uh, cinnamon vitamin c vitamin a so much more like mindalic acid glycolic acid so much more ingredients that will completely transform your skin and you will see difference right away so that's all you need this jar is for four applications okay look at this texture so we want to spread it between our fingers and be ready this is tingling this is spicy it's supposed to be like that it's supposed to penetrate this medical grade of molecules deep into your skin and dissolve all capsulations congestions under skin oil ingredients that was not dissolved pieces of old makeup it have to dissolve it all so let's spread it evenly again remember that these zones around your face are very sensitive so start from outer part right here mm -hmm. and then move to the inner part another thing that i forgot to say and i'm so sorry for that because it's your first time using a pumpkin peel i would recommend you to have a your own like blow dryer in the beginning when it feels a little spicy you can use a blow dryer on a cold air i'm not doing it now because my skin can tolerate much more than pumpkin peel you see i even put it like around my eyes it, it's me don't put on your eyes right away first uh, let your skin get used to pumpkin peel and then in the future you can do the same friends look this is a blow dryer for my hair but I'm going to use it on my face to kind of like take this spicy sensation. Make sure that you're using it only on cold air, never warm air, never hot. If it's your first time doing a pumpkin peel, there is no rule really how long you can leave it on your skin. The more oily your skin, the more you have congestion, capsulation, inflammation, try to leave it the longer. Like I would say up to five to seven minutes. But if your skin is sensitive or you see that in these places your skin got like really pin, but here it's normal, then please take a wet towel, neutral neutralize pumpkin peel in these areas but please let it sit on your skin still because here outer part of your skin is not as sensitive as your inner part and then please take cold water clean towel and please remove pumpkin peel from your skin it need couple times you see like when i remove it from one side it just need couple times with a towel if your skin got a little red a little pink it's absolutely normal please don't worry it's very active okay look at my skin after pumpkin peel can you see this glow feels like a silk after scrub exfoliation and penetration of all these all natural acids 
feels like silk and ready for our next step so our next product will be this plumping gel when you answer our questions on a website before you purchasing the kit and you tell us more about your skin we know how much active ingredients to add this one i made for myself i just know how much my skin can tolerate if skin would be like sensitive or like fitzpatrick five or six we would just add different ingredients here we have in this kit some gloves some gauze this is for your future peel but we also have a gua sha tool i will talk about this tool a little bit later you have some gloves don't put them yet and you have these uh, pieces of plastic now if you have a plastic wrap at home you can totally use yours but for those who doesn't have so everything is here for you i would say that this enzyme you can actually divide in two parts because it's a lot like and it's pretty liquid if your skin is really congested like with some active inflammation and acne go ahead and put it all but if your skin like mine i only have here a couple breakouts i would just take a half so again i will take my spatula i would mix it again then i would just take a little bit on a spatula put on my skin massage it you might feel tingling right away it's absolutely normal don't worry only if your skin is like burning you know every skin is different so just in case if you feel burning remove it with a wet towel but just massage it into your skin everywhere and now let's wrap our face with plastic try to wrap everything just so your nose can be so Another piece of wrap. I will also put my lips inside so I can cover more. Actually, we'll put hot towels on my face so I don't mind even to wrap my eyes. I just want to create a greenhouse under this wrap so all this enzyme can penetrate deeper into the pores and if you have any capsulation or congestion or anything like that on your skin this will help to dissolve it all so this towel is very hot i will put it on top i will take another one now and i will put it this way and i have one more i will put it like that and i will go and lay down and i just will meditate for 20 minutes to half an hour and make sure that this heat will help to enzyme to penetrate deeper and to dissolve under skin capsulations congestions blackheads anything what's stuck there we need to dissolve it in order to extract it so let's wait 20 to 30 minutes okay friends it was 20 minutes i'm going to remove just one part just that part i can see what i do okay this part i still want to leave wrapped and i'm going to perform self extractions you have these gloves so let's go ahead and put these gloves actually i wanted to show you i still have half of enzyme don't use it even all in one time just leave something for your second time it's always good to repeat this facial in two weeks or like 17 days but for now let's put our gloves and let's uh, do self extractions it's much easier than it sounds i promise in your magic bag you will find this sterile needle it's totally your choice if you don't want to use it throw it away no problem but i encourage you to use this needle if you have any kind of congestion or capsulation on your face i would recommend you to stretch the skin and then to do two pokes with a needle on a highest point let's say this is your skin layer and on top you have like a capsulation something is stuck inside of your skin but this capsulation is still inside of your skin it's surrounded by your skin so if you will not make a little entrance for this substance to come out you will create a scar on your skin everyone can use it at home because you are in control of how deep needle is going you are in control of pressure and i always will have my pinky as my guard and then i take a needle like a pen and i know exactly where i go with this needle and you just need to poke two times on the highest part of your congestion or capsulation if you see the entrance of your pores it is a little darker like a little hole do one poke there and one poke right next to it but always two you can do three but not one okay so let's open my needle i have this one that i would like to open and drain oh i open it with a needle i just barely touched it now when you do you look at yourself in a mirror i'm looking right now at myself through the phone camera so i can show you how to do it but please look at yourself in a mirror if you have a magnified mirror even better okay but you see i open it and then i have also a cut and round with a hydrogen peroxide that's another thing that you will need so please spray a little bit hydrogen peroxide if you have a little bit of blood please remove it and then put two napkins on your fingers or you can do like two q-tips let me try to do with the Q-tips. 
You say, oh, I got it actually. How nice. I got that. One Q-tip I would put from that side and it will be kind of like my guard. And with another one, I will apply pressure and like wiggle it. Wiggle it from this side and then I will apply them from different side. Wiggle it more. Perfect. Amazing. A little bit more came up. I will turn around so you don't spread the bacteria. Turn around both Q-tips. Then let's go one more time. Perfect, amazing. I'm very happy with how it goes. In my introduction video, I explained that when sometimes you have a capsulation in your pore and you start to remove it by pressing on your skin, imagine that this is your pore and capsulation is inside. When, when you start to press your skin, you press it exactly in the middle and you divide this capsulation on both sides. Upper side will come out, a side that is more down will go deeper into your body and then your body will put a lot of liquids and this liquid will push it out. So I would come back to this area in five minutes and I would just try apply a little bit more pressure right here in five minutes and just see if you can remove the root. Maybe root will come out from in the first time, we never know, but if you touch your pore and you feel like it's something still a little bit there and some liquids coming out, just wait five to seven minutes and then press it again. I was visiting friends and I usually eat pretty clean, but sometimes when I eat some processed food and sweets, I immediately get uh, breakouts. So I know exactly why it's happened. I'm going to remove some enzyme. Now this enzyme can make your skin pink, but it's an indicator that your pores are open in this area and you can clean them. So first of all, I know that I have a couple congestions and capsulations there. So I will take a tissue, wrap it around my finger, wrap it here too, and go from different directions, not just from one side. And now this one, it's pretty congested still inside, but it's also inflammated. If you have something like that, I would not recommend you to open it right now, because if you will open it right now, you will have a lot of blood pass and it just, you can spread bacteria and it can get much worse before it get better. Instead, what I would recommend you, if you feel like you don't see like white head, you feel when you touch it, it's like painful, it, this pain going deep inside. So inflammation, it's still forming and bacteria that produce that, it's very deep in your skin. So in your kit, you have this acne stop treatment. I would recommend to apply this treatment on any areas where you have inflammated or under skin or like cystic breakouts or acne. This treatment based on a sulfur and this sulfur will going to push everything to the surface. It has a medical grade of molecules, so it will penetrate inside and it start to kill bacteria that are deep down. So maybe you can apply it one night, two nights, three nights until you feel that this come out on the surface and you feel like oh it's not that deep inside anymore it's actually very close to the surface so now i can get my needle and i can actually like poke it in a couple times and finally drain it and then apply more sulfur and then if something left again the sulfur will penetrate through this entrance and will pull everything to the surface you feel it that it's like a lot and it's deep there don't touch it. That's my best recommendation to you because if you touch it, you cannot extract everything. It's way too deep. So you still will have inflammation. You will have scar. You will have a mark. We don't want it. We want to touch only breakouts and blackheads that are ready to be touched. Okay. So on that one, I'm going to apply product this product and I will let it kind of like come out and I can then get back to it without applying enzyme just in a couple days in the morning or at night after shower when your skin is steam you just can go look in magnified mirror poke it a couple times and drain it but I definitely want to clean up my nose so I will remove this but here I still want my wrap right so I will just clean my skin after enzyme so my fingers don't slick and then I will take my q-tips try with the q-tips try with the, with your fingers and see what works better for your skin little things coming out but what I want to do to myself and then can you see this from my nose I just press one time. That's why I love this enzyme because it's dissolving everything so we can penetrate active ingredients. Again, don't rush. Enzyme still working. It will be working up to 60 minutes and you can take your time and clean your nose. Very, very thorough. It's okay that it's red. No worries. No worries at all. If I would do it in magnifying mirror, I can see much more. So you guys can see this is dust with under skin oil, with makeup that sometimes is not dissolving. So go ahead and remove it as much as possible. So remove here and I will, I saw a couple congestions and capsulations here. I need to get with my needle. You 
see I put pressure, pressure and release, pressure and release and I go from other side, again pressure, pressure, pressure and release. I know it's, you can see probably just a little bit of blood but I can see that on top of the blood there is a little little capsule. Guys, another thing what you can do to yourself if you have at home a steamer that you do your dress, you know, like there is some steamer that produce steam and you do your dress, you can put this steamer in your face on top of your plastic wrap. It will be super beneficial instead of hot towels. So now I'm done with my extractions. This guy I'm going to treat differently. And this is I already treated a couple days ago. It's healing. I just need to take a new cuttings and put some hydrogen peroxide on it. Make sure that you wipe your face really, really good. See, it's still like it's not perfect because this enzyme will remove so much dirt from underneath your skin that even before that we exfoliated our skin, we did scrub, we did peel, our skin was so clean. Now you can definitely see that your cuttings are not really white, they kind of like a little gray. That's because enzyme pushing now all dust and bacteria away. My face is tingling right now. Please know that it's absolutely normal. If I clean my face, I would always go and clean my décolleté. Even I don't do extractions on a décolleté, but if you have a chance to put a pumpkin peel or a scrub on your décolleté, please always do it. And then if not, you can always take a little bit of coffee and a little bit of kiwi, mix it together. You will have like a messy mask, scrub slash mask, and you can apply it on your décolleté. And while you do professional treatment on your face and you're waiting for products to penetrate and your décolleté will look and feel amazing. And then you just can hydrate it. And that's your mini facial that you can do yourself for your décolleté. Your décolleté is an extension of your face. All right. So can you see my skin? You see how much redness I have? Every bit where I extracted has little red marks. Here is a red mark. It's absolutely normal. And now um, I would like to show you how to do a peel, our custom peel, this one. So again, if your skin is very, very sensitive and you skip the pumpkin peel first time, then go ahead and apply pumpkin peel instead of the custom peel. And this one we will do like in two weeks once your skin will be ready. If you did a pumpkin peel and your skin is okay, maybe you have like a little bit red here, but the rest is okay. Then go ahead and apply this peel. We want this product penetrate really, really deep and it will stimulate your new cells to grow and you're going to create a new layers. And once you create new layers of the skin there deep inside, your upper layers become dry and they will micro peel. And that's how you exchange your old skin to your new skin. Okay, so that's a natural process of exchanging the skin. 